Welcome to Rwanda Medical Academy. Today's lesson is about the potential causes of altered mental status. What is altered mental status? Altered mental status, AMS, can be a challenging and concerning presentation in any patient. And it refers to a change in a person's cognitive function and level of consciousness. It is a medical term used to describe a state in which an individual's mental clarity, awareness, and responsiveness are not within the usual baseline or are different from what is considered normal for that person. Before delving into etiologies, symptoms of AMS include confusion, disorientation, agitation, unresponsiveness, difficulty in concentrating, memory impairment, changes in behavior or personality. Now, let's explore the mnemonic AEIOU tips, which stands for alcohol, epilepsy, electrolytes, infection, overdose, urea, trauma, insulin, psychiatric, poisoning and sepsis, shock, seizures. Each of these components can be a cause for altered mental status and understanding these causes is vital for healthcare professionals to promptly identify and manage patients presenting with altered mental status. Let's delve into each component. A. Stands for alcohol. Alcohol intoxication can impair cognitive function and alter mental status by depressing the central nervous system. Clinical considerations. Assess for signs of alcohol intoxication, such as slurred speech, unsteady gait, and odor of alcohol on the breath. E. Stands for electrolytes and epilepsy. Electrolytes. Electrolytes play essential roles in maintaining cellular function, nerve conduction, and muscle contraction. Clinical considerations. Monitor electrolyte levels, including sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Correct electrolyte imbalances promptly to prevent neurological complications. Consider underlying causes, such as renal failure or medication side effects. Adjust fluid and electrolyte replacement therapies based on patient-specific factors. Epilepsy. Epilepsy is a chronic neurological disorder characterized by recurrent seizures. Clinical considerations. Obtain a detailed medical history, including seizure frequency, triggers, and associated symptoms. Perform thorough neurological assessments, including cognitive function and motor skills. Initiate anti-epileptic drug therapy based on seizure type and frequency. Educate patients and caregivers about seizure management, safety precautions, and medication adherence. I. Stands for infection. Systemic infections, including meningitis, encephalitis, and sepsis, can cause alterations in mental status due to inflammation and neurologic involvement. Clinical considerations. Look for signs of infection, such as fever, altered vital signs, and focal neurological deficits. O. Stands for overdose. Overdose of medications, illicit drugs, or toxic substances can result in altered mental status and neurological impairment. Clinical considerations. Conduct a thorough medication history and consider toxicology screening in suspected overdose cases. U. Stands for urea. Elevated blood urea levels, often seen in renal failure or dehydration, can lead to uremic encephalopathy and altered mental status. Clinical considerations. Monitor renal function and assess for signs of uremia, such as confusion and asterixis. T. Stands for trauma. Head trauma, intracranial hemorrhage, or other traumatic injuries can disrupt brain function and cause altered mental status. Clinical considerations. Perform a comprehensive neurological examination and imaging studies to evaluate for traumatic brain injury. I. Stands for insulin. Hypoglycemia resulting from insulin overdose or diabetic emergencies can lead to altered mental status and neuroglycopenic symptoms. Clinical considerations. Check blood glucose levels and administer glucose if hypoglycemia is suspected. P. Stands for psychiatric and poisoning. Psychiatric disorders, including depression, psychosis, and delirium, can manifest as altered mental status. Clinical considerations. Assess for psychiatric history, suicidal ideation, and presence of hallucinations or disorganized thoughts. Poisoning. Poisoning from toxins such as carbon monoxide, methanol, or ethylene glycol can cause altered mental status, ranging from confusion and lethargy to coma and respiratory failure. Other types of poisoning, such as mushroom poisoning or toxic ingestions, can also cause mental status changes. S. Stands for seizures, shock, and sepsis. Seizures. Seizures result from abnormal electrical activity in the brain, leading to sudden changes in behavior, consciousness, and motor functions. Clinical considerations. Assess the type, duration, and frequency of seizures. 
Monitor for postictal confusion or loss of consciousness. Administer antiepileptic medications. Consider triggers, such as sleep deprivation or stress, and provide appropriate interventions. Shock. Shock occurs when the body's organs and tissues receive inadequate oxygen and nutrients due to insufficient blood flow. Clinical considerations. Recognize signs of shock, including hypotension, tachycardia, pallor, and altered mental status. Identify the underlying cause, such as hemorrhage, trauma, or severe infection. Initiate prompt fluid resuscitation and vasopressor therapy. Monitor response to treatment and adjust interventions as needed. Sepsis. Sepsis is a systemic inflammatory response to infection that can lead to organ dysfunction and failure. Clinical considerations. Suspect sepsis in patients with signs of infection and systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS. Perform timely diagnostic tests, including blood cultures and biomarkers. Administer broad-spectrum antibiotics and source control interventions. Monitor for septic shock and multi-organ dysfunction syndrome, MODS, development. Conclusion. AUTIP serves as a vital tool and provides a systematic approach for healthcare professionals to evaluate and manage patients with altered mental status. Understanding the underlying etiologies is essential for effective diagnosis and treatment, and timely interventions can be implemented to optimize patient outcomes. Thank you for learning. Join us and save a life with us at Rwanda Medical Academy.